Hello friends, it is a very rainy day here in Alaska. We have packed so much into this summer, but this week is the week that I have to get my kids ready to go back to school. And we're gonna bring you along and show you some Alaska back to school prep. My first step is, got a big stack of papers here. I'm headed to the school to register Everett for kindergarten. Such a bittersweet thing. I feel strongly that he's supposed to go, but I'm gonna miss my little guy. He actually doesn't start school till a week after the big kids start school, so I have a little bit more time with him, but I do need to go get him registered, so let's go. All right, that was quick and easy. Uh, I did forget his birth certificate. I stood in the garage for like three or four minutes before I left and even looked up on their website trying to find, do I have everything I need? And then I got there, she's like, birth certificate. I'm like, ah. But luckily I can just email that to the school. I'm gonna go home and do that right now. All right, next thing on my list for back to school is shoes for the kids. And I actually hate taking the kids shoe shopping. There's just so many choices and they are running around like crazy. So we are trying some new shoes this year. They're called Kizix. You slip them on without having to untie them, which can be life-changing if you have a hard time bending over and tying your shoes. My kids can tie their shoes fine, at least the older three, but it seems so easy and so nice. I really want a pair for myself, but I'm gonna get the kids their shoes right now and then I'll worry about myself later. They do have a referral program that I just signed up for, so I will leave my referral code down in the comments below. If you click on it and use it, you get $20 off your first pair of shoes. So these are the shoes, you just step into them. You do not have to untie them. It's such an awesome concept. They have um, like, workout shoes, they have nicer looking shoes. They should come in a couple days and we'll show them to you. I'm really excited. I signed up for their point system. It says I earned 10 points for just signing up and I've already gotten $10 off. So another thing I am really impressed with on this Kizik's website is it's free shipping to the United States and Canada and free returns within 30 days if the shoes don't fit. So 30 day money back guarantee, free returns. You can't, you know, this is just saving me so much time and more importantly, saving my sanity because like I said, shoe shopping, especially with Everett and even the big boys, it's just so hard to like find them. This time they just came upstairs. We put their sizes in, they have wide sizes, which Hunter needs. So we've had a hard time finding shoes for him sometimes locally. So I'm just really excited about this. They're a little bit more expensive, but I feel like they're a better investment and we'll update you and tell you how the boys like them, but also how they hold up. But I'm just super excited because this has been a lot less stressful. So if you wanna try them out, make sure you go click the link below and you'll get your $20 off coupon sent to your email. Next thing on our back to school list is physicals and taking the boys to the doctors. Today it's Hunter, I don't know where he is, Hunter and Bennett. <laughs> We're gonna go get these boys checked out. All right, friends, we are continuing our back to school prep today. And that means I made breakfast burritos this morning. I'm sorry I didn't show you, it was kind of chaos, but these go in the freezer, made them all at one time. One package of Jimmy Dean sausage, 24 eggs, and some hash browns and some cheese, and then they go in the freezer, the kids pull them out, microwave them, and then heat them on a skillet and make them nice and brown. Done. Now, I'm using these rolls I bought at Costco yesterday. I'm gonna make big ham and cheese sandwiches and then freeze them. We'll see if they're good because somebody on, I saw somebody on Instagram do it and it seemed like an easy way to just grab sandwiches out on mornings when I don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna make those right now. One thing I have to get better at though is cutting straight. I do really good for the first half and then I totally bombed on this corner. One more round, and then they go in the freezer. I think it'll be good. Say hi. Come get one of these. Um... Say hello. No, never. <laughs> 
This is my YouTube channel. This is Elastikit. There you go, Everett. Very freeze, nice. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Hey, that's my spot. That's my spot. <laughs> People that have cabins on the lake and they leave the another toy. Ah, ah, done. More of the top racers all dropped out. All those toys done. And make sure you, if you can, subscribe. Bye. All right, friends, we need to interrupt this back to school video for a quick uh, unboxing. We got some happy mail a few days ago and I just have to show it to you. So first of all, Kanisha Smith in North Carolina. Thank you so much for this beautiful card. Uh, your message in it was so heartwarming. So thank you so much for taking the time to send this beautiful card. And then we also got a box the same day. So I'm just blown away. It was beautifully packaged. Um, I put it in my office and some of my kids found it. So it's been rifled through, but I told them, don't, don't take anything out until we filmed it. So this amazing box came from Wisconsin and you guys know how I love to find Alaska things. Well, Susan went through and found amazing things from Wisconsin and then she wrote up these awesome descriptions of what everything is. So, so grateful. Okay, Everett, you're gonna come help? Yeah. Pull stuff out. All right, the first thing is not from Wisconsin, but she knows that the boys love a treat. So they're these uh, mega roulette Haribo gummy candies. Never seen anything like this. And, and huge Smarties. So she sent one of those for each of the boys. So thank you so much. That's very sweet of you. Okay. Oh, another treat for the boys. Um, mouth changing, color changing bubble gum. Oh. Color your mouth with flavor. Oh, she didn't forget Luna. Thank you so much. Luna is gonna love these. Oh. Meow Mix, real salmon. Uh, Luna is a fish lover. Okay, we haven't gotten to any of the Wisconsin snacks yet, but Everett's picking, that's okay. Uh, some snap peas, some fruit roll-ups. Sent us several of these, Bennett already took them upstairs. They are egg rings to be able to make perfectly shaped eggs. How fun is that? my dad. Some Ortega ta taco seasoning. I've never tried this brand, so I'm excited to put that up uh, in the pantry. All right, can you find some of these other chips? Let's find the other chips. So these are a local brand to Wisconsin. Some chips, this is sea salt. You see any other flavors? Sea salt and vinegar. Dill pickle, that will be a favorite. Honey barbecue, so we're, these are from Madison, Wisconsin. Found a different kind. All right, these are some more snacks, pretzels. Snyder's pretzels. Wait, there's two of them. Oh, some Scooby snacks for the boys. These will be great for going in their back to school lunches. She said that she watched our soap making video and that these are some soap. Wisconsin soaps. Nope, those aren't soaps. Fallen Pine Farm Eucalyptus Mint Goat Milk Soap. Ooh, it smells so good, you guys. What is this? Ooh, it's pretty too. So there's some goat milk soap. Those are some jellies, strawberry rhubarb. She packaged everything so nicely so that the scents and things didn't mix up, so thank you. Another one. This one's red raspberry. Oh, some more jams. Okay, I'll open that. You pick out something else. This is blueberry jam. Okay. Oh, that's just a true lime packet. Uh, black cherry. Ooh, we need to have like some toast, like a little toast party and Okay. Try out all these jams. Ooh, some fruit roll-ups, mini fruit roll-ups, oh, cool. And then pomegranate, so I love the size of these two, so cute. Oh, I found racers. racers. I found some pizza chips. Racers, that's why I uh, back to school. Yep, erasers, perfect. Okay, keep going, it's like Mary Poppins box, keeps going. Outdoor trail mix that's rubies, good. and these are Wisconsin and some cranberries from Wisconsin. Am I saying the right state? I hope so, yep. Wow. And here's another one. Oh, and another trail mix, cool. These will be great. Okay. 
We have children that have to sit and watch. <laughs> we were waiting for They've been waiting. Oh, little Snyder's round pretzels. I love it. And some more Snyder's hot buffalo wing pretzels. Ooh. Here's some gummies. These are some gummy bears that are Wisconsin made. We love gummy bears. Oh, another fruit. Mini fruit roll ups. This will be great for their back to school lunch. Another dad! One. Oh, why, why is the kitchen stuff dad? I do most of the cooking, but that's okay. Uh, Italian food, Italian seasoning from Wisconsin. Oh, cleaning stuff. Some little Clorox wipes. Can never have enough of those. And she said this one, um, her she found them too sweet. She got them at Sam's Club, which we don't have Sam's Club, and we love Sam's Club. So, Chex Mix bars. Let the boys try those out. Yes. Um, and some Harvest Snaps baked red lentil tomato and basil. Oh, and some True Lime raspberry packets. Oh, I've never tried the raspberry flavor, so that's fun. All right, thank you so much, Susan, Dominic, and Benjamin. This, oh my goodness, we're just like swimming in this. This is so cool. Are you guys excited for this stuff? Yeah! yeah. What do you say? Thank you, Benjamin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go give the one to Luna. Hold on. Oh, in all of the chaos, I forgot. She also sent us a puzzle. Thank you so much. Uh, when you guys send us stuff in the P.O. box, it just like, it's so amazing, we're so grateful. You guys know that you don't need to do that, but when you do, it warms our hearts, it makes us feel connected to you guys, and thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go put this amazing, it smells like a candy cane soap upstairs, and we're having dinner, but I just needed to make sure we said thank you for that box. We laid most of the stuff out here so we could get a better view, because it was just so fun. Yeah. Thank you! <coughs> It is Monday, back to school prep continues. We just have today to get it done. Taking Hunter and Bennett to the dentist and we've gotta do some clothes shopping and get all their supplies. I have their supply lists. I don't know how much I'll be able to bring you along into the stores and things cause we're running, we, have, we don't have a ton of time, but we will make sure to do a haul when we get back. So I don't know. Okay. We're finding a few things, but as I expected, everything's really picked over. So we're gonna have to probably hit up Walmart. Well, we came out with two bags. Nothing for me. <laughs> Crossed a few things off our list, but not very many things in the school supply section. I don't think there was. Which is not too surprising, but. Hopefully Walmart has more. They did last week, but I just wasn't, my brain, I didn't have my lists when I went last week to Walmart, so. Eh. If we can't find what's on the list, it's okay, because we'll just, they don't really need it the first two days. They're starting school on a Thursday, which is super weird. But anyways, on to the next adventure. The boys want a new sweatshirt. So we're gonna go into Old Navy and see what they have. So we went to Walmart, got a few more things that I needed. Now I, we are at the best ice cream spot in Alaska, in my opinion, Wild Scoops. We didn't really get to do this anytime this summer with the boys, so let's go see what flavors they have. We are still heading to the dentist, but we had an hour to kill. Okay, today's flavors, chocolate, vanilla, Sitka swirl. This one is amazing. Sweet cream, homemade caramel. Fireweed honey, birch almond. This one is my absolute favorite. Cinnamon, nutmeg, and rhubarb with oat stustel. Purple yams. Hmm. Honey coated walnuts. Buttermilk blueberry. Here is the test kitchen. I think I'll work here. Making stuff. Yeah, I, you could work here. Okay, so they bake their homemade marshmallow and you can get it on top and then they um, toast mm -hmm. it. So that's oh, called 
baked Alaska style. Hunter, what flavor did you get? I got s'mores. Same thing. You got s'mores too? Yeah. All right, and I got Sitka Swirl Caramel. Oh. And they also make their own cones, and they have a little bit of like, I don't know, I think it's in the, like a niece in it, which I don't usually like, but I don't know, there's just something about it that's so good. I wanna go to the lentil so I don't know how yeah. uh -oh. They burn the cone a little. Oh, we are home. That dentist appointment just took longer than I had planned in my mind. So we ended up coming home at rush hour traffic, but I'm gonna share with you all of our back to school haul now. And of course, in true Luna style, she is inspecting everything. You had to come check out? So here's the table full. Let's take a look at what everything is. So I ended up going into Old Navy and grabbing a few things for the boys. Um, this is like a little track suit for Bennett. Maybe we'll see if they'll, they want to try some of it on for us. <laughs> and then some pants. Uh, last year, Hunter bought one of these short sleeve sweatshirts and ended up loving it. It kept him kind of warm, but it wasn't too hot because it's short sleeve. And then he got a nice pair of joggers, a really nice pair of joggers. And then I ended up buying Everett three pairs of joggers because I've noticed that his pants, all of them have holes or stains. And he's just getting taller and... They weren't really covering his bum, so I'm hoping these size six sevens will be the trick. Oh, Miss Luna's back to inspect. I'm sure we'll see her a couple more times throughout the video because she is very interested in all of this stuff. So the one thing about Old Navy, I was kind of disappointed when I went to check out. I guess I wasn't paying attention to prices. Everything was really expensive. Nothing was on sale. You know, they did give me this $30 of super cash to come back and spend $25, $75 and get $30 off, but I'd rather just get the money off now. I don't wanna go back. So I may be taking some of this stuff back because it just felt really expensive, like $200 expensive for just this couple things. Anyways, moving on. Next we had Target. The boys needed some tissues. Two of the boys needed pencil boxes. Hunter needed little packs of tissues for his backpack. He's in middle school. Bennett needed some dividers. He's gonna use his binder from last year. The boys all needed rulers. What do you think about that, Miss Luna? Do they need the rulers? Oh, you need a ruler, huh? Teacher Luna. Hunter needed hand sanitizer and Everett needed Ziploc baggies. Two of the boys needed composition notebooks and Everett needed two folders. So that's what we got there. Hunter being the oldest was the only kid that actually needed more clothes. You know, there's lots of hand-me-downs. Weston just got an entire gigantic trash bag of clothing from my sister. His drawers can't even close. So Weston did not need any new back to school clothes, but Hunter did. So he ended up getting four really nice, these shirts are so soft and they were 30% off and none of them were over $10 at Target. So I felt like that was a really good deal as opposed to Old Navy who kind of, Old Navy's prices were not, but these were such a good deal. He's an adult small so that he would be able to find a couple nice neutral shirts and a pair of jeans for him. And that wraps up our Target haul. Have you ever had that fear that like you're gonna open your kid's backpack when it's time to go back to school and you're gonna find something nasty from last year? Well, this morning I went through the boys' backpacks. Luckily, there was nothing nasty in them, but I did stick them in the washing machine. So we have the three backpacks ready to go. Checked all the zippers, made sure they were all still working, and they were, so no new backpacks. Everett's not going back to school quite yet, so we still have some time to see if the backpack I have for him is gonna work. Next up, we went to Walmart. Got four packages of college-ruled paper. Uh, kindergarten asked for four boxes of crayons, and then Weston needed a box of crayons, so thankfully, at back-to-school time, they are 50 cents a piece, so that is not hard <laughs> to buy. Uh, Grab some graph paper, colored pencils, um, our school requires these Ticonderoga pencils. They're just the best pencils around, so they say you have to get that brand. They're very picky. Bennett needed a new pencil pouch, new scissors, because we can't ever find scissors. I'm gonna do that in just a second, sweetheart. And then Bennett needed some red pens. 
Now, I didn't actually buy these things today, but Everett, what is this? <laughs> what is that? My lunchbox and cup. So, the other day when I had to stop in at Walmart, I did buy Everett. Can you pull out your water bottle so they can see it? Yeah. I did buy Everett a lunchbox and water bottle. So he is ready to go. And then Weston really wanted one, so I went back and grabbed one for him too, because why not? <laughs> and scissors. The other boys already have them. Yep, I showed the scissors. So these are for Weston and Everett. The other boys have lunch boxes that we already have. I showed all that stuff. And then last up we have Costco. So I grabbed these two for Hunter and Bennett. I feel like we always need a new water bottle at the beginning of the school year. These were like two for 13, great deal. This is for Hunter. It kind of just has everything he'll need. Pens, markers, glue. I have to tell you, I did not get glue sticks today, even though that's on my kids list because the school they go to says no purple glue sticks and all the glue sticks were either purple glue sticks. If you're not familiar, the purple Elmer's glue sticks tend to not stick very well. You just need the regular old white glue. And then the other half of them, I remember showing you guys this last year, but were sniff. They were scented glue sticks. Kids do not need to be sniffing their glue sticks. So I gotta go find glue sticks somewhere else. Probably be ordering them off of Amazon at this point, cause- What if them are only selling them? I think we can find the right ones. I might even have some downstairs. And then I got this awesome big binder for Hunter. So this is our back to school haul. <laughs> you excited to go to school? Yeah. It might be hot. It will be hard, but you're gonna do great. It's gonna feel a little funny at first, right? Cause we're used to playing at home and sleeping in. But you know what? You are gonna learn so much. <laughs> you're gonna learn how to read. You are. It's gonna be amazing. On the way back from back to school shopping, we stopped at the P.O. box. Thank you so much, Erin, for this beautiful vase. She made this vase for us. I can't wait to put flowers in it. Thank you for your kind note and for taking the time to send us something. That was so sweet of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That sweatshirt you're sitting on matches your eyes, Miss Luna. It matches your eyes. Very good coordinating. So you may have seen earlier in this video that I ordered the boys back to school shoes online from Kizix. Well, only hunters have come, but so far, I'll just let him tell you. How do you like the shoes? These shoes are very comfortable and they go on very easy and are quite warm. Okay, so you just tie them up once and then they have this patented, let me show them really quick. They have this patented back that you don't have to untie your shoes and they just pop on. Can you turn it sideways so we can see? Sometimes you do have to pull up the tongue, but that's it. It's kind of wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. They just wiggle right into them. And these look super nice. They feel good too. like they. And they don't come off like you kick them like but they do come off if you like well that's the whole point and right they come off really easy and then get on so he just slid down here let me show that from the side perfect so these shoes would be great if you've just had knee surgery if you have a hard time bending over and tying your shoes they come in like running shoes they come in those were the nicer shoes those are going to be his like in school shoes he wore them to church on sunday they looked fantastic so check out kizix i will put my referral code down in the description below it will get you 20 dollars off i believe so use that i cannot wait for the rest of the boys shoes to show up because Hunter has been loving them. Bennett has actually been checking the mailbox every day. Even though I've been tracking it online, they're not here yet, but he's been tracking his shoes every single day. He can't wait to have his own. Free shipping, free returns. If they don't fit, you can't go wrong. They are an investment piece. They're a little bit more expensive, but using the referral code gets you $20 off. So try out Kizik. I can't wait to order myself some. I ordered them all for the boys because my mind is in back to school mode, but I will be ordering myself some too because I love the hands-free slip right in. So while we're really excited for back to school, it has been very stressful. This last week of appointments and getting everything ready has been kind of draining. I would rather be camping. I would rather be playing, but 
you know, we have to transition into school mode. But the thing that has been the most stressful this school year has been buses. Our school district here in Anchorage is over 70 bus drivers short this year. They typically bus 20,000 students. They have enough buses, I think they said, for 7,000 students. It has been a nightmare and they're just trying to figure it out now in the last week and a half when they should have been trying to figure it out all summer. Anyways, that being said, our kids do not have buses for the next six weeks. They do not get a bus until October. So I thought I would be sending kids off to the bus stop, welcoming them home from the bus stop. Instead, I will be driving the boys to and from school. Not sure how it's gonna work because if everybody's having to do that, the lines are going to be insane. I feel like half my day is gonna be spent driving back and forth. It'll all work out, but it has been very stressful. We've been trying to coordinate with neighbors. We don't have a ton of neighbors, but we've been trying to coordinate with at least one so that we don't have to do all the driving and we can lessen the cars that are gonna be in the parking lot. But it has just been an unnecessary stressor that I wasn't expecting and they just announced it last week. So we haven't had a lot of time to prepare for it. So they divided the kids up into three groups three weeks, three weeks, three weeks. Our kids do not have buses until the third cohort. So they will not have buses until October. Mom. Anyways, it'll all be all right. Oh, what? Mom, do you even have Luna inspect your groceries? Did I have Luna inspecting my groceries? I did. Aww. She came, she sat right in the middle of the, of the back to school hall. She's funny, Aww. huh? She is quite the inspector. Thank you so much for watching. We are so grateful for each and every one of you that spends time with our family here on YouTube. We love you, we're grateful for you, and we'll see you real soon for more of this Alaska life. Oh, you're wiggly. Bye. Don't make sure, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up, and the bell. That's how you subscribe. You heard it here. And thank you so much, Adrienne in New York for sending Weston and Everett birthday cards and the sweet note that you send me. Thank you, that was very sweet of you to think of them on their birthdays. There you go. Ooh. Oh, I have a dinosaur today. Can we read it to you? Thank you. And the person that gave me the flower pot.